according to all the YouTube gurus I follow, gurus, um, I have to speak to you guys to get you guys to engage with me so you'll follow my page, which is not a bad idea. And I want to start off by making a comment about that. If you follow my page, and you should, um, I, I often make uh, at, to give advice or make comments about practice. And I'm, I'm, I'm a big proponent of practicing. And right here, I'll tell you, when I first started this page, I did not get on camera. I did not speak to anybody. And I just put my own music on the videos because it was just much easier to do it that way. But I've been practicing and practicing uh, this. I mean, I took speech in high school. I took speech in college. I didn't really like it. Um, I kind of have a speech impediment and I've had it all my life. Uh, so I, I struggle with that a little bit, but I'm trying to get over it. So get so just ignore if I kind of uh, tend to talk a little bit funny. But today I want to. I'm starting a series. This is my second one. I want to talk about some of my artwork. This particular painting right here, I have a video that I'm going to put on here. I'll probably splice under this video of me actually making this painting. And this painting right here kind of defines who I am as an artist. Uh, I watch a lot of videos, um, you know, to get some ideas on what I should be doing. And nobody does stuff like this. I, 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 at least that I've found. There's probably a thousand of them. But I don't know anybody that does this. This is one of my favorite black and white paintings. I think I call this one Gray Alien. I think I do. Um, it's based off of a fish picture I found on the internet. I think it's called a, a, a death fish. I don't know. And it was, a, it was just pictures of bones. And I, I, I like the image so much, so I, I, I stole that from my reference. And this painting has at least three or four different layers of gray tones on it. And it's, it, this is, when I say this defines me, this is what I really love to do. Um, for the longest time, I was doing a lot of colorful stuff. And I felt like I was getting way too colorful and using way too many colors. And I wasn't limiting my palette enough. So one day I said, I'm going to do a picture that's just gray tones. That's just it. And this is it. And to watch the video of me making this is, I mean, for me personally, I'm not trying to be an art snob. I find it very entertaining and, and fascinating to see how I'm sort of slopping that paint up there and how this came together. So I put in a layer, I'll, you know, I'll paint it up. I'll slap some, some gray tones, half wash on there. Let it dry, come back, uh, do, put some highlights on it. Let that dry, slap some more gray tones on it. I think I went to like four layers of gray tones to get this. So I had this really cool image. I love fangs. I love spikes and horns. If you look at my stuff, spikes and horns and fangs is kind of my thing. Um, it got the, the dead eye. It got these little, this, this reminds me of like, um, these look like, like eyeballs, uh, like, like a Pink Floyd album cover or something like that. Uh, like the wall, you know. So uh, then I, put, I got all my little white highlight, like little veins going all over the place. Um, if you look, I came from the 80s, and that cartoon heavy metal, and the, and the magazine heavy metal, that kind of art, artwork really influenced me big time. I mean, I, I, I say I'm 13 years old in my brain, and that's really true. It really is true. This is my 13-year-old self, self in my much older body. I'm not going to tell you how much older. This is funny. I went to work today with my new haircut. And one, of the, one of the gals at work said, you look so young. You look so young. I said, that's great, because they chopped all the gray hair off my head. But anyway, um, this is one of my favorites, and I'm going to do a series of paintings, uh, I guess uh, several that I painted before I ever started this YouTube channel. Um, th this is my second channel. My original one, had, I started back in 2006. It has over a thousand videos on it, but very few of them are art-related. They're more about um, youth sports and the local area around here. But this channel, I'm up to about 180 videos, and I tell you, these videos take me hours to create. And I'm not trying to complain here, but hours. So each one video, if you multiply that out, the amount of time I put into this, it's, it's, it's insane. So, you know, I, I shouldn't really monitor my, my uh, views that much, but on the computer behind this picture, I had this rolling screen that tells me how many views per hour I get, and it's really low. If you guys could help me out, I'd really appreciate that. I need to really bump that up. Um, you know, I'm going to keep this video, this channel going indefinitely because I, you know, I put some money into it and I'm not going to waste it, waste it. And, you know, YouTube videos are pretty dang cheap to make. Uh, the hardest part and the most expensive part is, is my time. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm, I'm going to quit complaining. 
but um, I'm gonna stitch this uh, painting video onto this. And if you like my work, I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. I, you guys probably get tired of hearing that all the time, but you don't know how much that means. Um, I, I, I need some reinforcement here, guys. I need to know you that you're out there. And the best thing that I like the most are comments. And uh, I get a few here and there. That's awesome. But, you know, um, I, I like to get more of those because anytime that YouTube gets a thumbs up, a like, comment, it sends my video all over the place and, and my views just skyrocket. So that's very important. My marketing all depends on you. That's that's very serious. So um, I'm going to continue the series of uh, videos and I guess more paintings than I did before I ever started uh, this channel.